Hi guys, Tosh here with Tactical Hive and we're gonna continue on with our camouflaging. So the other day we did ghillie hat and with this fake veg and it turned out pretty good. Well, I had some extra material left over. So I decided, you know, I started looking at it. And I said, man, can I, can I make a package ready to go in the field to camouflage my weapon system if I were to go on a stock? Now that may not seem like a big deal to most people, but this will save you an extreme amount of time if you can go ahead and make a kit with this fake veg that's prepped to go on your weapon system for the stock. So you guys that are wanting to become snipers or going to, to sniper school, these are things that you're going to have to be able to do. Now, I don't know how much weight they put on stocking anymore, but it used to be a huge thing and that was the number one thing that caused guys to fail out of school. So what I did was I took the rest of the fake veg that I had and I threw a little bit of spray paint on it and I, I attached rubber bands to it. So it's just a quick put on. And then I put rubber bands preloaded onto my, my rifle and my scope so that it's simple just to slip it on. But I started thinking about it a little bit more and I said, well, well why wouldn't you just do it right from the get-go so it's not something you have to deal with once you get into your FFP or less you have to deal with once you get into your FFP. So here we go, pre-setup pre fake veg. Looks pretty good. And I'm just gonna take these pieces, I'm gonna lay them out real quick to see which ones I wanna use first. So the smaller piece. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take some of these pieces that I've already got rubber bands on, and then also use the rubber bands that I have on the scope to help do this. So you notice I painted the scope caps also. With these Arkin scope caps are pretty nice because they actually they actually fold down. So if you get scope caps like that, that's great. It'll protect your weapon a little bit better, your scope a little bit better. So you can see that I didn't paint any of my knobs. Well, I don't want to paint my knobs because I need to be able to read the numbers. I am going to try to camouflage that up a little bit. And the great thing about this uh, fake veg, you don't have to worry about it dying on you. So you could do this before starting off on your stock, get a little bit of this veg on there. You don't want a ton on it because you got to move around and you don't want it caught on stuff, but you can get part of the equation done by going ahead and getting a little bit done prehand. You don't need a lot on the back of the weapon because you're going to fill that in with your, uh, your body and your ghillie suit. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm just trying to get the gun, getting the hard lines covered, the dark colors, and just getting kind of like a gun that's just kind of prepared to get into that FFP position, final firing position. We don't want a whole lot of stuff dangling off, so I got a little extra dangling here. So I'm just going to find that, find a rubber band, and run it through. So that's one thing you got to make sure you do when you veg up your gun. You don't want to make sure it doesn't interfere with the operation of the weapon system. So my action is clear. I'm good. I can see the turrets enough that I can adjust if I need to. For that shooter solution. I got enough veg in front of the black. So normally, which I didn't have, you want to put some kind of... Uh, mesh in front of this black hole. So if you look at the black hole here, that's the one thing that's going to get you rolled up. So you got to do things creatively to break up that, that shape of that black hole. At this point, this is what I would start out with if I were just starting out on a stock. Okay, I would just go ahead and get it kind of preloaded and be ready to go with that right there. Okay, and then once I got to that final firing position, then I would start adding more. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add more and get it completely gillied out with just the fake veg. And then uh, what we'll do is we'll take some of this real veg that we have out here, maybe mix it with it. Okay, so if you look, you got all this out here that's in the open, right? So there's gonna be things that we're gonna do in the FFP. But if you look, I put rubber bands on the legs. That's for the natural veg that I'm going to use in the terrain to help camouflage the weapon system up. But I'm going to go ahead and preload some, some fake veg in here. 
Because you're not going to stalk with the legs down, obviously. So you would do this near FFP or close to it. What's nice about this fake veg is it's light enough that you're, it's not going to affect the barrel whip of your, your weapon system unless you get it stuck between you know, the rail or however it's mounted or the stock. If you've got a free-floating stock, glass-bedded stock, you don't want to get in between the rifle and the, and the stock. But as far as vegetation laying on top of it, it's not a big deal, guys. Okay, guys, that's your preliminary, hey, weapons vegged up. This is without actually using natural veg. It's just using this fake stuff, which is pretty awesome. And take a look at that. That's pretty good. So again, you know, you can use the old pantyhose method, put that over the lens to break that, break that shape down. Now, if I put my ghillie hat on as if I were in a final firing position, now I lay behind that, put that tail over the top, and just see just fine through that scope. Now, if I were wearing a ghillie top, you guys be able to see, you guys can see my shoulders probably, but there you go. Okay, guys, so now you got the, the concept of this, and that's the main thing, is, hey, you can save a lot of time by going and getting this fake veg from Hobby Lobby, whatever, and preset your kit so that you can break it down fairly easy and have it ready to go. And it's gonna save you a lot of time on the stock field, being able to do this. And the, the, big, the big bonus to this is that you're not cutting veg from your environment that leaves sign, okay? So that's a huge benefit of this. Of course, the, other, the downside of this is you gotta make sure you get the right veg for the right environment. And it's not hard to take what veg there is and spray paint it, change it colors, uh, make it fit the environment that you're in. But this is the down and dirty. This is 70% of the solution. The rest of what you would do is take natural veg and add this to it, but you wouldn't need to add a whole lot just because you have so much that looks so real. Please like and subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and we'll do more content concerning camouflage. <laughs>